Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting in the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you. And uh, I think my voice is, I've lost my voice because I've been yelling at the dog so much. Um, but, you know, I, I put some things together, I, I connected some dots. And I, I, at first I thought maybe it was the puppies. But there's a few things about Papa that... Um, I well I put together. Okay, so he had one of the Easter eggers in his mouth and was running with it. Um a few days ago he vomited up something and I couldn't figure out what it was. It almost looked like fur. It wasn't feathers, it was just a big glob of fur. But I, I kind of just dismissed it. I figured oh he just, you know, had a hairball. But it was it was a big clump. So there's that. Um, a few months after I, I got Papa or adopted him, brought him in, Mr. Lucas had told me that one day he had ran over to him and he had a rabbit in his mouth. And the rabbit was dead and I, I think Mr. Lucas said he buried it. But that's another thing. So I'm thinking that Papa spent a lot of time out in the woods before I adopted him. He was straying in and out of my woods, Mr. Lucas' woods, um, for months. And that's probably how he learned to survive. So I don't know what's changed in him recently because he's never shown any interest in, you know, any of the chickens or anything like that. But those two things I put together, I, I kind of le it leads me to believe that this was Papa, um, and he I don't think he meant any malice. I just think maybe, and, and he's been having some food aggression lately as well. Um, he's been snarling at the puppies when they try and get close to his food, and if you remember. I had his bowl outside and the chickens were like free range and they were wanting to come up and eat some of his food because they would come and do that when he wasn't around. Well, he's been kind of barking at the chickens even when they're outside the gate, if they get too close to the gate and if his food bowl is, you know, down in the yard, he'll bark at the chickens. So maybe there's some weird food aggression going on there or something. Um, I, I mean, I feed him. I feel like I feed him enough. Um, I always have food in his bowl, but he's been kind of barking at the puppies, too, about the food situation. So, um, and I love those puppies. Oh, they are the best snugglers in the whole world, and they're great puppies. I had them both trained up to where they would leave the chickens alone, but yesterday it was different. So I think maybe Papa got one of the chickens at least Junior saw what he had done, and so he figured he was maybe going to emulate Papa. But, you know, I, I, I don't know if it's just the puppy stage, and maybe if I just give it a little bit more time, they'll be okay, um, and they will learn. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I, I love these puppies. They're over, they're over there playing right now. And, oh, Junior, he just is the best snuggler ever, so... Anyhow, so I didn't. I, I kept waking up last night and couldn't stop thinking about things. So today it's going to be a sunny day. I'm going to try and bolster the inside yard a little bit better so that the puppies can't get out. Um, because I they they've been able to get out. They've tore holes in the plastic netting um, into the rooster yard so they can get into the rooster yard and get out that way. So. I don't know. I'm just going to have to figure things out. don't know what I'm going to do today, but I'm going to finish my coffee and figure it out. One thing I'm going to try today is these are these those green bean seeds from those dehydrated green beans that I had that I took out. What do you think? You think they'll sprout? Well, I'm going to put them in a paper towel, get that paper towel all wet, put it back in this bag, and uh, see what happens. It, it's not going to hurt to try, right? I got two little baggies full. I've got a few seeds left out. I may go ahead and just put those in the dirt. I don't know. I know it's too cold for them to sprout. 
But I'm going to put one in the dark and one I'm going to expose to sunlight and we'll see if anything happens with any of them. I'm super tired today. Like I said, I didn't sleep well last night. And uh, I don't know, I might be coming down with something. Who knows? So this is just going to be a short video. Um, today I've just been doing some planning. Some planning and planning and more strategizing. Because I'm going to have to make some changes. Um, but not today. We're going to start on that tomorrow. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.